Hey guys, welcome back to All in a Law. So today, I'm going to talk about classification or classes of SLE nephritis. This is a very important topic for a medical student and for a USMLA or any other medical board examination appearing students. Okay guys, so WHO classes. Systemic lupus erythematosus, right? So we have five classes, okay? Class one, let's talk about the class and what's the histopathology and very important you should know histopathology because in examination, um, they will give the histopathology and they will ask you which class does it belong or they will give the class two and which of the following uh, histopathology do you expect in this patient so this is a very important topic so WHO classification this is a World Health Organization is a class one is a histopathology is a no histo histological abnormalities detected no histological histological abnormalities detected okay and the sy symptoms will be no symptoms nothing it will be normal okay so let's move on to the class 2 class 2 is nothing but there will be a known as mesangial lupus nephritis mesangial lupus nephritis okay the glomeruli have uh, mesangial deposits containing uh, immunoglobulins okay they contain the immunoglobulins and they contain what you call a complements so the glomeruli have mesangial deposits containing immunoglobulins ig and complements okay because of the space problem, I'm, I'm just explaining you over here and writing in short. What are the symptoms? The patient usually have hematuria. Hematuria, okay. And the renal functions will be normal. Remember, normal renal functions, okay. And the proteinuria will be less than... Proteinuria will be less than... 1 gram per 24 hours per day it will be less than 1 gram okay right so class 2 is known as a mesangial lupus nephritis where the glomeruli have a mesangial deposits in the form of what you call uh, uh, immunoglobulins and complements okay let's move on to the class 3 the class 3 is a focal segmental lupus glomerular nephritis. Focal segmental lupus glomerular nephritis. Okay. Now the mesangial deposits in all glomerular and subendothelial deposits in some. Okay. There will be mesangial deposits in all glomerular and subendothelial deposits in some. So this is about the class 3. The patient over here will have hematuria as we see in a class 2. Okay, you will have hematuria with or without proteinuria, may or may not be proteinuria present. Okay, or he might have what you call a nephrotic syndrome with may be present, may not be nephrotic, not nephritic, it's a nephrotic. Okay and what do you call it? renal functions may or may not be normal it can be normal it may not be normal so what you need to remember for class 3 is the focal segmental lupus glomerular nephritis is very important and there will be mesangial deposits in all glomeruli and subendothelial deposits in some okay let's move on to what you call class 4 The class 4 diffuse proliferative lupus nephritis. Diffuse proliferative lupus nephritis. 
all glomeruli contain you know massive mesangial and subendothelial deposits of uh, same that is I'm immunoglobulins and complements okay all glomeruli contain massive mesangial and subendothelial deposits of uh, um, what you call immunoglobulins and complements okay right okay so what are the what you call uh, clinical uh, symptoms what are the symptoms same what we see over here is the same you can think of this that's a hematuria is there with or without proteinuria renal functions can be normal or reduced or nephrotic syndrome would be there or may not be there okay so let's move on to the class 5 last classification of WHO classification of SLE nephritis in this category the membranous lupus nephritis is there membranous lupus nephritis okay resembles the idiopathic membranous glomerulopathy okay it resembles idiopathic membranous glomerulopathy right so in this the patient will have nephrotic syndrome nephrotic syndrome okay guys so this is our WHO classification WHO classification of SLE nephritis okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video we have five classes total class one is no histological abnormalities detected class two we have mesangial lupus nephritis glomerula have some mesangial deposits have mesangial deposits containing immunoglobulins and complements mesangial three they have focal known as a focal segmental lupus glomerular nephritis focal segmental right so mesangial deposits in all the glomeruli and subendothelial deposits in some Class 4 is a diffuse proliferative lupus nephritis. All glomeruli contain massive mesangial and subendothelial deposits of immunoglobulins and complements. Okay, and the class 5 is a membranous lupus nephritis, resembles idiopathic membranous glomerulopathy. And the most important symptom of this is nephrotic syndrome. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.